Hey guys, it's Miss April. I'm just stopping in to say hi and also to present our second lesson on prayer. In our first lesson, we saw Jesus' example of praying alone. I hope that you were all able to find a prayer space in your house um, where you can be alone to pray. Um, and remember, praying is just talking to God. Tell him about your day, something happened that you were excited about, something that made you mad, something that you're sad, something that you're afraid of. Um, just remember, he's there to listen anytime, anywhere. Our lesson today, Jesus shows us that he prayed during special times as well. Our scripture lesson comes from Luke 3, verses 21 to 22, and it reads, Now when all the people were baptized, and when Jesus had also been baptized and was praying, the heaven was opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in a bodily form like a dove, and a voice came from heaven, You are my son, the beloved, and you I am well pleased. John the Baptist was baptizing people in a river. Jesus went to join them and was baptized as well. We are told he prayed during this, and during the time of prayer, God shows us that he heard Jesus' prayer. What a great example for us to know that he hears us too. We may not see a dove on our shoulder, and we may not hear a voice from heaven, uh, but we can have faith that God is listening, and he will answer us just like he answered Jesus. So when we think of special times, we generally think of births, weddings, funerals, baptisms, birthdays. These are all times that we gather together and celebrate. We're in a very special time right now where these celebrations look different, a lot different. Uh, I want to send a shout out to the kiddos I know who had a birthday in the last few weeks, uh, Liam and Jackson. I'm guessing your birthdays looked a lot different this year than last. All of these special events are going to look different while we're going through the special time together. Today's activity was supposed to be a list of special times when we can pray, but we switched ours up a little bit because we are all going through a special time right now. So we added to our prayer sheet people who need our prayers and might be struggling right now. Um, here we go. So we prayed for um, our coaches, our teachers, um, they're going through times now where they're going to be missing us, missing, missing the kiddos. Um, so we're praying for them during that. Uh, we're praying for Easter. Right now, we hope to be together during Easter, but we're just not sure about that yet. So we're praying about that. Um, we're praying about our grandparents. Uh, a, lot of the, a lot of our grandparents love to see us and our kiddos, and we're not able to see them right now. So that's hard on them too. So I encourage you guys to fill out your prayer sheet the same way. So pray for special times that are coming up in your families. We have a couple birthdays in ours and also special people that are affected uh, by what's going on right now and might be struggling and need our prayers. So I miss you guys. Um, we will still hope to be together at Easter, like I said, but we'll keep you posted. Um, in the meantime, uh, send me a shout out, send a picture, a video, something so we can see what you guys are up to. Um, let us know who you're praying for. Let us see your prayer space. Um, just touch base with us because we miss you and we're thinking about you. Uh, let's end today with a prayer. Please pray with me. Dear Lord, we thank you for each chapter of our lives. We thank you for the everyday happenings and we thank you for the big moments. Thank you for giving us language to speak words of connection, thanks, and love to you that we can remember our whole lives. Amen. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said, miss you guys and hope to see you soon.